the Greenland ice sheet is a relic of the, the last glacial period which ran from about 130,000 years ago to 12,000 years ago. And there's um, this thing called the small ice cap instability. What, what that means is, um, as, as you warm air temperatures, um, you, you're going to melt some ice and the surface of the ice sheet is going to down, go down a little bit. And, that, uh, and, and the air temperature goes up as you go down. So that's a, a positive feedback. In other words, as the surface lowers, it gets warmer and more melting takes place. And um, colleagues have done some estimates of what the critical threshold is, at which point um, this, this small ice cap instability um, is, is passed and, and the point at which the ice sheet is no longer sustainable. And that is around about 1.6, 1.7 degrees. There is some uncertainty over that and it depends on, for example, the seasonality of the temperature changes and the seasonality of changes in precipitation because they're important, but it's around about that mark. And so once we pass that, um, and what's called the surface mass balance. That's the balance between melting around the edges and snowfall in the interior. Once that becomes negative, the ice sheet is, is, is um, on its way out. Um, so that's one of the thresholds. The other one is this thing that I described earlier about West Antarctica called the marine ice sheet instability. And it's a little bit harder to know what the temperature threshold is there because that's not driven from the surface, it's driven from the oceans. But we know that um, ocean warming is going to cause um, increased migration of this grounding line and that we could pass a threshold there where the grounding line becomes unstable and just moves inland until um, all the marine sectors of West Antarctica are basically floating. And I mean, there, there were some papers published about three years ago that suggested that we may, we may even have passed that marine ice sheet instability threshold already for parts of West Antarctica. 